I took many pictures in a row. Another with the jets. It looks like um, a fan with three. Sometimes it pops the jets. Sometimes we see weird things like here. Something that you see. Bam. It was like this. It, it, it came from here. If you notice, look, it came from here, bam, and bam, and then went here. I don't know what this is doing. Then the smoke. Like a thruster, man. Look, jets again. Man, this is a powerful telescope. This is a powerful telescope. Here we have 185 pictures. Jets again. It's crazy, man, this object. Isn't it? And you can see, man, it's almost there. Some of them are crazy. What I notice in it's kind of a pattern is sometimes the three jets and sometimes the circle like a circle, that thing that we see during the live streams with the telescope, the live views that I get fascinated with, okay, this is like dynamic, uh, dynamic, it's a circle, but it's dynamic, it changes the shape of it. But here we can see clearly that dynamism and the, the shape of a, a circle sometimes and the jets. Now, the thing is, this is the first time and it's the second time I, I pick that massive telescope that is super uh, hard to, to figure out how to manage it. And it's the first time that uh, I'm using this to, to enhance. So, not bad. Not bad. But uh, I can tell you that it's raining a lot now. But uh, next week, the forecast is good. So, my plan is next week to go full on later it will not be at this hour it will be at my night right now it's almost 6 p.m it will be after dinner my dinner and i will be capturing three atlas again live with you live views but now with that mindset of recording the in the right way the pictures all the pictures and then i will do a composition to to see in the next live stream so it will be what I'm going to do. And we will see if it changed something. So far what I saw, it's only that. That smoke, that is erratic sometimes. You see here a big jet. It's like crazy. And it matches perfectly. Another one. It matches perfectly with that composition from... Isa, look here, the three jets. You see? Again. Again, jets. Again. Man, it's a bit crazy. Solar radiation for propulsion. Man, there are even... I read today a scientific uh, article proposing that. Something like that. Yeah, they they don't care about um, the evidence. Uh, it's not evidence from both sides. Because if you notice, we can't see and we will not see the surface. Mm, for them, mm, man, they will never admit. Because remember, the beginning of the stream, that intro, that was an interview with Michu Kaku. And two interviews. The first one, a reporter asked him what has to happen to become... for you to, to admit that it's an alien spaceship. And he said, it was before the perihelion, so before Three Atlas gets closer to the, the sun. And I remember we were analyzing that here. He said, if it changes... Um, if it accelerates... It's because it's intelligent. And then in the other interview, she she asked him again. So you said that it was alien if it accelerate. 
And he did. And it did. He did, man. <laughs> and with Shukaku, like, you know. Well, it was like degree or whatever. Not, not only did that accelerate it, but change direction. Not only change direction and accelerate it, but change direction to a precise point. What a coincidence. Of the hill radius of Jupiter, which is the, the point where, like we have on Earth, where we place the, um, the instruments like James Webb, the Lagrange points, the, the, the James Webb, Soho, the, the, the probes that we use to, to watch the sun, because they don't require much energy. They, they can float there because the gravity itself pulls from one side and pulls from the other side at the same, uh, uh, in an equilibrium. It's like they are pulling together, so at the middle you can be like floating. If you go too much to the right or too much to the left, you will be pulled. And by a coincidence, this object will, on March, pass cross exactly on that uh, that place, which is the be best place to release some probes. Probably it will re release in advance. Imagine that they release probes to, to gather information, man. Like sensors, whatever they use. And don't forget that on March and April, we will cross, the Earth will cross the region where Three Atlas, near the region where Three Atlas passed. So it's near the path, but remember that Three Atlas released loads of stuff. You can see here that it's always releasing stuff to to space. And one of them was, was cyanide, cyanide. So, man, loads of stuff that he released. So we will cross the sky. And I remember that Eviloy made an article about that. And if there are pieces of it, of dust, they, that they are very big, they can reach the Earth and enter in the atmosphere and do like a show ah Tiago if it is uh, if it's releasing dust it's because it's natural man it can be natural outside so if I I want to camouflage myself in the forest and I use branches and leaves and everything to to be camouflaged am I a tree or am I a human disguised as a tree? Or as a, a bush? It's the same thing! I don't understand why people use that as it was a, a big argument or whatever. Nice. Come on. No? <laughs> and they want so badly this to be, to be, to not to be alien. Why, man? It will not break your gods, man. It will break them, their jobs. They will be too, they will need to, and maybe not, because they are smart enough. I don't underestimate the shenanigans. They are smart enough to turn around and make uh, profit from, from a crisis. It always happens. Crisis on Earth always, after crisis, and the old ones know very well. You know history? 1929, whatever, the recent ones, the subprime in 2008, you know, those crises that, uh, now the last one in 2020, created by them. After the crisis, what happens? The rich get richer, and the others struggle more. <laughs> it was always like that, man. So they are experts, not in comets, because not in interstellar objects, because this is the third one. What they are experts in, they don't tell you. They are experts fooling us and sucking us for their own benefit. And they will do like in a movie, don't look up, run away run. and leave us all to the lions, man. Do we have doubts about that? Oh, maybe you trust them too much. <laughs>